most vivid dreams that people will see in their lives are usually of their loved ones that have passed away. And sometimes those dreams have really deep meanings to a point that they scare the person that saw them. How do we come to terms with this? Are we actually seeing the dead when we dream? And I was thinking about, you know, which dream to narrate. And I remembered this incident with Tufayl ibn Amr al-Dawsi, radiallahu anhu. There are numerous dreams, but I want to start with this one for a reason. Tufayl ibn Amr al-Dawsi was, of course, famous in his uh, interaction with the Prophet Sallallahu He brought the tribe of Dos to Islam, to accept Islam with the Prophet Sallallahu And he made hijrah. He migrated to Medina. And when he migrated to Medina, he had a man with him from his tribe. And when this man made the hijrah, left everything behind, made the hijrah with Tufayl, with the Prophet ﷺ to Medina, the climate of Medina got to him, he became ill. And as he suffered his illness, he cut his fingers. And when he cut his fingers, um, the, the blood f would flow from his hands. And eventually he passed away. Now, this is a very interesting situation. Tufayl says, I saw him in a dream and he was in a good state, meaning, you know, he looked to be from the people of Al-Jannah, but his fingers were still cut off or he was, he had his hands wrapped and it was clear that his fingers were, were still cut off. So he said, I asked him, I said, what has Allah done with you? And he said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, pardon me because of my hijrah with the Prophet ﷺ, because of my migration with the Prophet ﷺ, but as for my fingers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to me, I will not restore what you yourself ruined. I will not restore what you yourself ruined. And what did the Prophet ﷺ do? Tufayr says that the Prophet ﷺ raised his hands to the sky and he says, Allahumma wa li yadayhi faghfir. Allahumma wa li yadayhi faghfir. Oh Allah, and for his hands, forgive him. Oh Allah, and for his hands, forgive him. There are numerous dreams that get narrated and uh, we find not just from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi and the companions, but throughout history of students seeing their teachers. How do we come to terms with this? Are we actually seeing the dead when we dream? Are we seeing them? Are we seeing a representation of them? How do we come to terms with this? Well, first and foremost, establish the understanding of a dream in general that bad dreams are from the shaitan and we are to seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from them and not to entertain them. So if you see a dream that displeases you, say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, seek refuge in Allah and don't seek the interpretation of that dream. When it comes to good dreams and when it comes to us seeing our deceased ones, of course, some people might be having, you know, just hadithun nafs, just regurgitated thoughts. But the possibility of actually seeing a person that has passed away is established by the scholars of Islam. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala, he describes it as the following. He says that the soul moves freely at the time of sleep. You know, when, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala compares sleep to mot, it is a minor death. Every time you go to sleep, you are saying, Bismik Allahumma amutu wa ahya. In your name, O oh Allah, I die and I am given life. You wake up in the morning, Alhamdulillah ladhi ahyana ba'dama amatana. Right? All praises be to the one who gave us life after he took our souls, after death. So every night you're going to sleep, there is death. Your soul travels. It moves freely during sleep and it meets with the souls of others. And so Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala says, that while you are asleep, it may be that your soul would meet the soul of your loved one. Remember, we're not limited by the dimensions of this dunya at the time of sleep. And so a person might see a dead person and the dead may give them nasiha, might give them advice. The dead might comfort them, right? To let them know that I'm okay, that everything is good, alhamdulillah. They might see their dead loved ones in a place of al-jannah or where, you know, something uh, really good happening with them. And the soul will comfort the soul of the living to say that I'm okay, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. It might be that the dead asks the one who is alive to go and pay off a debt. Maybe they weren't aware of it. Remember we talked about the first thing that you do for those that have passed away. So, you know, go to this person and pay off a debt or go seek forgiveness from this person because I hurt that person. SubhanAllah, someone in my own family, um, you know, passed away in Hajj. And this was years ago. And passing away in Hajj is a form of shahada. But when he passed away, his children all saw the same dream at night. They saw a dream of him. And I'm talking about numerous children saw a dream of him asking them to go seek forgiveness from a very particular person. They all woke up and they all saw the same dream. 
of him asking them to go seek forgiveness from a particular person. They did so, they went to that person and then they saw a dream of him in Al Jannah. As if to say, SubhanAllah, I mean, hurting people and having those things can prevent even a righteous person, the person who dies the most ideal of death from reaching their desired place with Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So sometimes you might see a dream and your deceased one is telling you, go pay off that debt, go seek forgiveness from that person because I hurt that person. These are all things that we find narrated over and over and over again. And sometimes they might remind you of the hereafter. Are you tired of all these annoying ads on YouTube? Are you worried that a haram video might pop up? Well, the One Islam TV app is here to solve these problems, inshallah. The One Islam TV app is 100% free of any ads and is safe to browse for your peace of mind. Watch or listen to lectures and lessons while you work, rest or drive with your device switched off. Watch videos on demand or download videos and watch offline. Watch hundreds of high quality produced Islamic reminders, Quran learning videos, stories of the prophets, and so much more. Two to four new videos uploaded daily, inshallah. One Islam TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means a small amount you pay for your subscription is a sadaqah jariyah, continuous charity for you as we use the funds raised to continue producing more beneficial videos and reminders. Insha'Allah. The One Islam TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. So you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 7-day trial. May Allah reward you for supporting our work.